Hey guys, what's up? It's Coop Dizzle here, and welcome to another episode on the Streamcraft server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. And um, I have my render distance turned down because um, I have been getting a lot of lag here lately, especially here in the spawn town. But anyway, we've got a really cool episode today. Um, so, by the way, did you see that? I don't know what the deal is, um, but the latest snapshots, they just seem to get buggier and buggier. Well, that's not true. The last two have been better, but there still seems like there's a lot for them to work out. But anyway, we've got some really cool stuff to do today. Um, I, You may be asking why I'm dressed as a noob today. That's because I uh, had some kind of glitch happen where I suffocated and ended up losing all of my good gear. So I'm going to have to do some enchanting today. We're going to do that here in a minute um, at my one of the projects I did in between the episodes, which is the string farm. Um, but first, I wanted to give you guys a tour. Um, <clears throat> I did a lot of work in between episodes. I, uh, I continued mining with the pick of destiny. Do I have it? There it is. Let me get that bad boy in my hand. So with the pick of destiny, and um, I got a whole bunch of resources and I fortuned it up and I'm ready to go. Um, I've got that stuff ready for the, uh, for the spider farm and I also, uh, this was a pretty big project but I pretty much finished the interior on my house. So we'll just, I wanna give you a quick tour of that and then we're gonna get on with the enchanting and then we're going to get a start on the master base which is really exciting, um, but anyway, so this is the attic and you'll notice I put in some carpets. I still have to put in the rest of the chests and label them and stuff like that. But I've got a pretty good setup so far. And check it out. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm low on is cobblestone, ironically. Um, but I do have a lot of other stuff like I'm getting to where I have a lot of diorite, uh, some granite, and I thought I had more andesite than that. It's kind of weird. But check out all the smooth stone. That's one, two, three, whoop, four, five, six, seven. And that's empty. So seven, almost seven full chests. So we are going to have plenty of blocks um, to do stuff that we're going to be doing here in the future. And there we go. And let's go. Uh, let's go check out the rest of the house. So, this is the uh, the upstairs now. Um, there are a couple of derpy things about it. The main thing is, okay, I learned a hard lesson with this build. I love the hacienda. I love how it looks from the outside, and I love the courtyard. The courtyard is beautiful, and I can get a much better look at that from over here. That is so weird. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now it's working. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I love the courtyard and everything, um, but it made the interior very challenging because I let myself get away with doing an even number of blocks on the inside. If I had just pushed this out one wider on each side of the house, so it was five wide or something like that, um, it would have been a lot easier to do the interior on, but I really struggled. It took a few hours, guys, at least, to do the interior. So. Let's check it out. This is the little entertainment room. So we've got our couch here. This is the first time I've done furniture with snow, so that was interesting. But yeah, it looks good. It looks proportional. Little coffee table here with our uh, flat screen TV and giant speakers. Um, that's pretty standard stuff. We have a really derpy pool table here, so I don't know. I just didn't have a lot of room, but I thought it'd be cool to do some kind of pool table. And there's our pool cue. I don't know if that's one cue or three cues, but we got that. We got a couple of tables and some paintings and stuff, and this is pretty much identical on the other side. Um, I went around and did everywhere that there are torches. I went ahead and put torch holders in, and we've got our sun chairs. So we've got two over here, two over here, two down there, and uh, you know some seating and stuff over there. So this is like party central, guys. We we will be totally ready for a party, and this is. 
Now see that one, that's weird, isn't it? But anyway, um, so this is my bedroom, and it's not much, it's not luxurious or anything, but I did manage to get some kind of bed design, and a little desk here, um, some a little dresser here. I'm not going to be here that much, to be honest, so it's not like I need a whole lot of space. But anyway, like I said, the other side is pretty much identical, uh, except for a couple of things. This is my little um, display shelf, I guess. This sword was given to me by Stream. Uh, that was a dragon buck from Dragon's Blade. Um, JSF dropped off a stack of potatoes. I think that was in the last episode, maybe. And so I just put a baked potato in there. And uh, this book is from the last episode. Um, it is the the Legend of the Pick of Destiny. I thought that'd be an important thing to keep. <clears throat> this is a notch apple. JSF like hid it somewhere and challenged everyone to find it. Excuse me real quick. And so yeah, I found it. And it was actually really easy, but that's alright. It was, it was a cool idea. Um, and I still have room for something, I don't know. And I may rotate these out, but that's kind of like my display shelf. I think that was kind of cool. Um, I think I'm going to put like a note block or something here, or a jukebox maybe. Could be cool. Let's go ahead and close that door. Okay. Huh. Must be getting some kind of lag from the server. Um, and I don't know what this is, to be honest. It's hiding a, a redstone torch, and I just needed a way to hide that, so I put a little thing here. Maybe that's another display case or something as well. But anyway, we walk down here. Here's the first floor. So when you walk in to the house, okay, now we've got everything in place. We've got the, uh, this is a barbecue grill over here. And I wish I could have, um, gotten this to face the other way, but it just wasn't possible. Maybe if I had done a bigger grill, but I just didn't want to take all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven blocks or do a three wide grill or whatever and uh, but yeah so there's the grill this little room over here is the horse stable now unfortunately oh man I got some bad news guys thunder horse thunder horse is gone um, so what happened was okay we were off looking for a jungle right and that's where I want to build the the master base is in sort of a jungle biome so we were off searching, and I mean, we went all over the map looking, okay? And we, we came to a swamp, and it's called the Swamp of Sadness, okay? Let me, let me get into serious mode here, F5. So, we're in the Swamp of Sadness, okay? True story. And the thing about this swamp that I didn't know at the time is that it has some sort of mystical, like, spell and the longer you spend in this swamp the more the sadness takes over and so I was dragging him through the swamp with my lead and we were trying not to get stuck in the mud and and you know I was getting sad and he was getting sad and eventually he just stopped right he just stopped and I was like Thunder Horse don't let the sadness take you but he just he wouldn't move and, and we were sinking right we were sinking into the swamp and so I was trying to pull him. I pulled him with all my might, and he just wouldn't move. It was like he was depressed, and he just wanted he just wanted to go. <sighs> and that was the end of Thunder Horse, guys. So Thunder Horse no longer lives here, uh, but we will find a Thunder Horse the second, and this will be his bed, and this will be the uh, a big block of sugar. Hopefully, that'll keep him happy, uh, and some hay to eat as well. And some nice plant decoration just because. So, yep, there's that. So anyway, we walk in. We've got more chairs here just in case you want to kick back and uh, do all that. Let me get back into regular... No, there we go. Perfect. Uh, just in case you want to kick back on the porch or lean up against the rail here or whatever. And so you come into the house. We've got a nice large rug now. Um, paintings and plants and things all over the place. This is the kitchen area and uh, I went for quartz and coal floor here and just a lot of shelf space um, this is meant to be a microwave I don't know what the best way to make a microwave is but that was my shot at it and um, yeah we got a little sink here we've got some survival necessities here some shelving uh, brewing stand a coffee maker 
Um, and also a refrigerator, and this is a functional, let me see if I can get it. Come on. Oh, well with the lag I've been having. There we go, so it's a functional refrigerator. Uh, if I wanted to put food in there, I could do that whole thing. Uh, dining area over here. Uh, tried to go for something kind of modernish looking and a little computer stand over here and that's pretty much the house guys I, I made these stairs like a tiny bit better as well um, but yeah I put a lot of effort into it please let me know what you think and I think um, I still need to release episode 2 of the let's build a hacienda I have that recorded I just gotta put it together in episode 3 I'm just gonna put the interior in do a little tour and, le and leave a download for it so let me know what you think of this interior guys it was pretty challenging to do to be honest um, but let me know in the comments what you think and if I should make any changes for the let's build and the world download for that um, that would be much appreciated but now what we have to do is we've got to get over to the string farm and I've got to get myself some new diamond gear so I will see you there in just a little bit Well guys, welcome back, and we are here at the spider farm, or string farm. So, yeah, this design is by Asumavoid. I will make sure to put a link in the description of the video. And it works out pretty good. This is another big project um, in between episodes, other than my house and the mining and all that stuff. And uh, Kate Fear John helped me out with this one. Unfortunately... There was a mishap while he was installing the lighting uh, because uh, we put lights. There we go. In fact, that, that's a good idea. We'll go ahead and stop the spawns and wait just a second for the rest of these spiders to kind of filter in. Um, the only difference that I guess between this one and Asumavoid's farm is that we did add some lighting. If I duck down, you might just be able to see a glowstone or a redstone lamp up there. Okay, and those guys are going to get stuck there, but really that's not a big deal. The rest of them just shoot through, and you can see there's a bunch of them. How many do we have right now? Maybe 135 or something like that? So I made a whole bunch of diamond gear. Um, I'm running, well I'm not running low on diamonds. I still have over four stacks of diamonds, but um, I made a bunch of gear and I'm trying to work on getting some stuff enchanted. Um, I've got some picks enchanted and some stuff, um, but yeah, anyway. So, oh, we hit them with this thing, and this basically crushes them with a piston. What's really cool about it, now there aren't any other spiders down here, but you can see even after that stopped crushing them, there is a block still in place here, so if there are more spiders, like, queuing up, then they can't get in, and basically this piston makes them a one-hit kill. Um, so no other spiders will get in and interfere with that and then we just stand back and toss one of these bad boys and watch my frame rate go down for a second and there we go so I'm gonna stand here and get all the XP and then continue enchanting guys I've got a lot to do I've got tons of stuff that's not in my inventory that's in my ender chest right now so um, I have a redonkulous amount of enchanting to do because I want to have I'm gonna try my best to get all protection 5 gear and efficiency 5 everything and all that good stuff uh, because this next project once we go into the jungle it's basically going to be a tremendous project oh just wanted to show one more thing off so we flick that lever nope not like that there we go and any items that I didn't pick up will go into this hopper which then feeds into these chests over here and hmm thought we would have uh, seen some of those filtering in by now but anyway all that stuff is hooked up on um, with hoppers and there's a uh, item elevator back there there's tons of redstone and actually it's like I did that 
And then I thought, you know, how much iron did I spend on all those hoppers and all the wood and stuff just to make sure that we didn't lose any string? I mean, I don't know if that was the smartest thing. Uh, but whatever, we did it. And we now have some levels to enchant with. So I'm going to get on it, guys, and see what all I can get. Um, and then this is going to take a long time. Perfect. Let's get that chest plate. All right. Can I get lucky again? Nah. So anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to work on this for a bit. And uh, when I am all done, I will probably just uh, meet you in a jungle. All right, see you in a minute. Well guys, I found a jungle biome and special thanks to Knight, he gave me the coordinates for this place. And I kind of tried to find a spot that I kind of want it to be so that it's jungle for as far as I can see. And um, the jungle is really, I guess, resource intensive when it comes to your hardware so I've already been lagging a little bit on this snapshot and it's even worse now in the jungle um, you can barely see over there if you look off to the left there's the portal I came through but I kinda went around and tried to find um, a really nice spot where uh, I could basically only see jungle and I couldn't quite get it um, I got really close though I got a spot that I think I'm happy with we're going to have to do a lot of landscaping though, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, <laughs> well basically, okay, let me tell you a little bit about my vision before we go on to this next bit. I want to build a custom forest. And the reason I want to be in the jungle is because of the leaves. Now the grass is actually the same color as it would be in a regular forest. Um, but there is a, from what I understand, there is a color spectrum, like a green spectrum. And depending on the temperature and the rainfall and stuff like that for the biome, and also the type of biome, I think, the, uh, the bushes and the uh, certain plants and things are different colors. Like they might look more lush or more dry. And there's a spectrum for that. So um, it's not just like four or five sets. Um, it could actually vary quite a, quite a bit, it looks like, based on what I read, okay? So we're going to tear all of these jungle trees down, and we're going to build a custom forest here, and in the middle of the forest is going to be a city. So it's going to be really cool, guys. And then um, underneath the city, there will be an underground base, and that's where most of my farms and things will be. We'll be under underneath the city in the middle of a custom forest and uh, but I want basically for the forest I want the most lush colors possible so that's why we're in a jungle alright so the next thing I need to do is um, ugh, survive this lag and then um, or at least the FPS issue but not really the the first thing I need to do is build that beacon you can see in my ender chest here I've got all the stuff that I need uh, to build the beacon and then um, we're gonna start chopping down as many of these trees as possible I don't know how many I'm gonna get guys before I just call it an episode because this is an absolute ton of work but I want to get as much as possible like I want to I would just want it to be my custom forest for as far as the eye can see so, yeah, we're going to get started on that, and then uh, I guess I will see you at the end of the episode.
what's up guys we're back here in the jungle and you could see a little bit of footage of what I was doing here trying to clear stuff out and I basically right now I have the jungle split up into quadrants so I started from the center and I cleared everything all the trees and all the bushes and stuff on the ground all the way back for a render distance of about eight chunks let me make sure let me check to see uh, where I'm at actually on that right now. Six chunks. Okay, so I'm going to lose some FPS here, but I'm going to set this to eight real quick just so you can see it. And uh, yeah, so now you can see a little bit of jungle tree back there, uh, but you can also see that's kind of behind uh, a body of water. And that's kind of what I was um, looking for whenever I was doing this, is I kind of looked for natural landmarks like there's a river right around there and I think that'll be a good place to start transitioning back into jungle from my custom biome so stuff like that and um, yeah there's a ravine off that way there's oh dude what's up oh dude and he's uh, he loves jungle so he decided to come and pitch in I guess help me tear down some of this stuff and uh, get some jungle goodies but anyway guys this is where we are gonna have to wrap this up let me turn down my uh, render distance real quick there we go by the way we just updated to the latest snapshot and it has the VBO I can't remember what that's for um, but it does seem to help me out a little bit so anyway guys um, you know what let me take my helmet off too real quick I hope you enjoyed the episode uh, might have been a little derpy compared to some of my other ones and I really hate to leave this project unfinished, um, clearing the jungle, but uh, we're just going to have to. Like, I don't want to burn the jungle down. Some of you are probably thinking, yeah, dude, just burn it down, but um, I kind of want the resources, <laughs> and uh, I, mostly I want the jungle bushes. I want an absolute boatload of them for the forest that we're going to make, and um, I also want oak saplings. I need tons of them. Like tons of them so I kind of like need to chop these down instead and um, anyway it just takes time but we're we're gonna get it done we just can't all get it done in this one episode let me get oh dude in the background there uh, big shout out to him I'm glad that he's uh, over here kind of pitching in and stuff so uh, but anyway guys that's gonna do it I hope you had fun hanging out and um, yeah I guess that's it until the next one may you be happy may be well, and until the next episode, take care. We'll see you later.